making me hate you Probably think it's painful But really I'm grateful I think I've seen this before This is the part where you say you want me to I say I love you Then you go act a fool That's how the story goes Just wanna let you know No need to sugarcoat it This kid old There's not much to uphold I'll most likely go ghost No need to sugarcoat Okay, so we are taking my girlfriend and I a spontaneous trip all the way to Northern Europe, specifically to Sweden. That's where we're arriving. Um, and we're also going to hit Denmark after. Um, so we got to, we're getting to the airport uh, now. And as you can see, it's not too busy. Uh, we're in Stockholm again. And not too busy at all, which, which is nice. Uh, we thought the airport was rather simple, not too big as well. And then we're going to get some tickets to get into the city center and then eventually find our hostel. So hopefully that shouldn't uh, be too hard. And it's already quite cold, you can feel it. Coming from Hong Kong, uh, where it's always very humid, especially this time of year, um, it's, a, it's a big change. So now um, we're in the center, or central station rather. And we're trying to find our way, we're still navigating uh, the lines and the routes and whatnot. And as you can probably already see, the train stations are really quite distinct in Sweden. They're actually famed for their aesthetic, their interior, uh, but maybe I'll talk about that a bit more later. So here, uh, we are at our... Not really. A, it's not really a hotel, it's like an Airbnb. Just a simple uh, place where we are staying. Uh, maybe 10 or 15 minutes out of the city center and it's quite simple it just has a big bed a little kitchen counter area with some amenities it has a nice little bathroom it's all very clean all very simple and it's right on the street So uh, we're going out now, and it's it's uh, it's really nice weather, but it's really quite cold. So we we already headed inside to a supermarket, and um, as expected, Sweden has a lot of health food, like a lot of low fat, zero sugar, no added this that, no preservatives and whatnot. Uh, so we are getting some salad, and I'm necessarily trying to prepare mine. It's one thing I think we're, we're seeing is so far in Sweden is that there's a lot of healthy food and a lot of ways to be healthy, which is quite nice actually. So now I'm just sitting around eating my salad on a cold uh, wooden bench outside, uh, outside of 7-Eleven actually, another little like plaza. Okay, so this is downtown. Um, first impression, we thought um, it feels not quite European, it feels more Western, kind of like this nondescript, just what you think of when you think of a Western city. Although there's some things, like as you can see there, Auckland City, that, are, that feel a bit more European, uh, like this candy store we found as well. But I think we're feeling so far that it feels a bit more um, just like Western. Um, so yeah, we, we're gonna get some candy and some gelato now, because Sweden is famous for that, so it's kind of a must try for us. Um, so far in the sort of old town, which is where we are now, there aren't that many people, aren't that many tourists from what we can tell. Uh, but then again, I didn't really expect that many because I don't think many people go to Scandinavia and if they do, they probably go during summer where the weather is much milder. Uh, these are all the different candies and they really go like all in with the candies and as you can see with the uh, gelato and everything because I think it's a big part of their culture which is kind of paradoxical because like I said they're really into eating health food so I guess this is their their guilty pleasure but yeah this store has a lot of good stuff it's you know one of those very typical touristy places not necessarily a tourist trap but that's a place that tourists would gravitate to and we decided to get I think this pumpkin spice maybe pumpkin spice I think it was um, uh, gelato and then we also got some chocolate balls I think they're called maybe there's a nicer name for them and yeah that's what the gelato looks like I've already had a bite as you can see so here we are walking observing taking in the sights uh, more European architecture, so this was a nicer part of town. But that, for me, um, 
having traveled Europe quite a bit already, that for me is is one of the things I always expect is when you hit the old town that's when you really feel like this is an older town that has not been modernized so much which is which is why a lot of people come to europe and it's really nice right now because it's sunny and the skies are clear not too many people out and about it's not like a, a horde in paris for example uh, it's just really nice to walk around but it's quite quite cold actually um like the your extremities like my fingertips are freezing and my toes are freezing but it's not so bad if you keep moving and if you have stops here and there to get a hot drink um, then it's not so bad yeah so whenever I go everywhere even when I'm just living in a place I always like to go out and take photos and especially when I travel because it helps me to look a bit more closely at, at, at the environment I'm in um, at certain things I like and I'm really drawn to architecture and interior design so I think I have an eye slash I train my eye to look for things that stand out to me visually, um, even materially. Oh, so here's this restaurant we kind of popped into. It's in one of those, I think they're kind of called like a... Um, like an arcade, kind of like a shopping or a restaurant arcade. So this is one of those, nothing special, just some beer, some Swedish, I think, food maybe. Here's a bookstore we stumbled on. There's a few in the old town, but this one caught our eye because it kind of looks a bit vintagey yet modern at the same time. So we're going to go inside. They have postcards and uh, these cool, I think, bookends. They're called, and this is my favorite writer, Marcel Proust, French from the... 20th century they have a lot of good stuff it's not too big either and they have a lot of english books as well so if you come to stockholm i think it's called gamla stans uh bookshop uh you should come here because the staff are really nice as well we talked to them for a bit and they're really welcoming and warm so i really recommend it and they have a lot of good selection as well a lot of classics some modern writers too and it's just a nice little cozy place and um again you can't really tell from the video but uh it's quite cold it's maybe like two three degrees uh, celsius so it's kind of necessary to make these stops for warmth here we are outside again sorry i'm not really good with uh the neighborhood names the street names we're just kind of wandering around getting a look at the place at different angles um and this is a 7-eleven actually a 7-eleven in the area we're staying maybe 50 meters from where we're staying so it's very convenient it's the next day and we're gonna get some coffee just take it slow and then head out to do a bit more sightseeing but really not like determined uh sightseeing like you would do in a major city like again maybe paris or rome or maybe like seoul and korea uh, more so just walking around because i think in sweden uh, in stockholm there aren't too many things that are sightseeing um that are like sightseeing so like not too many huge museums, not too many huge um, statues or monuments. So I think that's that's for the best. I, I kind of prefer this approach. So here we are at a old building, as you can tell from the architecture. It's a church. We just sort of randomly stumbled on it outside of one of the main modern malls in Stockholm. And I just wanted to see the inside. of. I've, I've seen quite a lot of churches in Europe, and this one was kind of... Um, of that of that kind that I've expected. It's really nice, stained glass windows, beautiful elongated seats. And here we went out again, and you can see it's not so sunny today, so it feels even colder. We are going to go to the this uh, museum. Uh, I forget the name. I'm, uh, I'll show you in a second. Uh, it's called the Moderna Museum, so more of a modern art museum. And it doesn't look like it's that popular, but I think we made it in time before it closes. So this is what the inside looks like. It's quite nice, I think. Um, it's much smaller in scale than like a big museum that you would see in other places, parts, parts of Europe. But I kind of like that. It feels a bit more cozy and personal. So we're sitting down to do some sort of makeshift paper making some origami of, of some kind yeah i don't do origami actually i haven't really done it for a while but i figured i'd give it a try because it was just laying out and you can attach yours as i'm doing right now you can attach it to the collection that everyone else has made which is kind of nice you just leave your own personal stamp there 
And there's a bookstore right attached to it. It's kind of a book slash souvenir store. And they have all kinds of trinkets and these necklaces and glasses and diaries and things like that. All these all cool books as well. So we're just walking around here for a bit and enjoying it. Um, actually, the lady told us that the exhibit will close very soon. So it's not really worth going in at this moment because we'll be rushed. So I think we'll come back hopefully on another day, although our time is limited in Stockholm, so we'll see. I'm not too bummed out because I, I think I have a sense of the art. There were some brochures that we could that we looked at, um, and I really like this, this, uh, this uh, it's not really a library, this bookstore. I really like this store because it has a lot of quirky odds and ends, a lot of things that you wouldn't normally see in a bookstore. Uh, so it kind of feels like it's like it what it it is what it is, which is a bookstore attached to a museum, which has a nice um, feeling to it. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk around a bit more, just get a look at some things. I don't think I'll buy anything because I didn't go into the museum yet. So this is a gym we found. We were meaning to go to the gym, and this is a gym we found actually in the neighborhood where we're staying. We figured we'd get a quick little bit of exercise in uh, because we always like to do that and make sure you know we don't really fall off because we're we're quite. I think both she and I are both quite. Um, committed to to a healthy lifestyle so lifting weights and moving always feels good so we go out of our way actually sometimes to find a place where we can you know do exercises and and sweat a bit i think we always feel healthier and sometimes people ask like oh uh you don't want to why do you want to waste an hour of your, t your precious time abroad when you're traveling when you could be sightseeing but the way i see it is you're probably going to waste an hour in some way um regardless so i think i'd rather use that towards something like working out Yeah, well, anyway, that's it for part one. I'll see you guys next time uh, in the next video.